Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to show you how we can have an inspector or hierarchy or both of them at the same time in our game in runtime. And even we can interact with all components and change all variables in runtime. Okay, let's take a look at this plugin. Uh, we should come over here, github.com. Uh, Yasir Krula slash Unity Runtime Inspector, which is provided about two years ago, two, two or three years ago. And as you can see, it is Runtime Inspector and Hierarchy, which is uh, free to use. Just you should need to click on this part, come, in, come over in installation. Just click on the first part, uh, come over here, just in this, uh, download runtime inspector unity package after you downloaded it uh, and import to your project it goes over plugins folder and in here you ha you have runtime inspector folder it is the whole thing is about this uh, package so let's create an empty scene and just you know you need to have uh, an empty canvas here the canvas unity okay and make sure you change the scale with the screen and put it um, uh, 0 0.5 okay and after that you just drag and drop these components runtime hierarchy okay and put it here and runtime inspector inside the canvas okay and put it here excellent and you need to know that uh, whenever you click on runtime inspector there is a connected hierarchy drag and drop runtime hierarchy here and click on runtime hierarchy drag and drop connected uh, uh, runtime inspector to the connected inspector okay and for example, I should create a simple uh, cube. Okay, I put it in front of the camera. All right. Now I play the scene. As you can see, there is all of the objects which we already have in our scene, main camera, and this is the all components of the main camera. Direction light and even our cube and if i change the transform component for example 5 or 0 0.25 or even 3 whatever or change the rotation it works even mesh component mesh renderer enable disable whatever we want and even Add component we can add any component we want uh, rigid body I think I can't find it ah unity engine rigid body that's it it works all of them are in runtime okay and if I save this scene inside the plugins here and that's my save scene and let's export any uh, an exe from this scene uh, let me see okay let's go and see how it works in exe okay we should wait for until this building is done okay it's ready now I play the scene excellent we have our hierarchy I press cube and change the position to 5 or whatever and change the mesh component or again rigid body excellent okay 
I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any questions related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye-bye.